You don't actually believe a single word I'm saying, do you? Oh, sure, of course I believe you. Great. Just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup. Right. Moon, prism, power, makeup. Hi everyone! <laughs> A couple of months ago... Okay, wait... Actually, in August, I think? Never mind. I bought these really cool, but way... Like, way too big pair of Levi's jeans in a second-hand store in Berlin. And basically, since then, I wanted to resize them and change them up a little bit so that they fit me. And today, that day has finally arrived and I'm going to make things happen. So I would say, let's give them a little glow up and let the magic happen. <laughs> let's go. Okay, but we need to appreciate my extra, extra professional microphone, which is basically my phone with my favorite pair of socks on it. But we're professional. Let's go! Okay, and before we actually start, a little disclaimer. First of all, as you can see, the jeans I thrifted are like extra, extra large and additionally men's size. So therefore I already knew it would be kind of difficult to resize them, but also turned out to be like that. <laughs> but since I wanted them to be also extra long, I needed a certain length I could work with. And in the end, it turned out that lengthwise, the size definitely was needed. However, you need to know that the larger the jeans are, the more difficult they are to resize. So I wouldn't recommend you to buy them too big because it gets quite complicated. <laughs> and second of all, it must be said that <laughs> I'm not a seamstress or a fashion designer or anything like that. And I also never went to any sewing classes or stuff like that. So I basically taught it myself and simply learn it by doing it. Therefore, the only stitches I use are basically straight stitch, zigzag stitch, and because I don't have an overlocker, I just use the overlock foot that my sewing machine includes. But I'm quite happy with that, like it really does its job. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I would say let's finally get into it. <laughs> Well, before I actually started to sew, as usual, I looked up for some inspiration on who would have thought Pinterest. <laughs> I simply created a new board and pinned a bunch of photos or outfits of how I wanted my jeans to look like. And my main idea of how I wanted them to look was to do this crisscross look at the front, like the famous A Goldie jeans have. but. They are insanely expensive, <laughs> so since I am broke, why don't just make them myself? Also, I had the idea of creating this cool split hem at the bottom, especially because I love how that looks when the jeans have like a really long length. And since I'm quite tall, <laughs> that doesn't happen very often that they reach the floor. So it's literally perfect that they currently are so, so big. Strange things are happening in this city. Even the police can't handle what's going on. A dangerous enemy has appeared. You're the only one who can defeat this enemy. 
You're the guardian that's been chosen for this mission. Till my legs go numb, till I go numb. Dancing till my legs go numb, till I go numb. Dancing till my legs go numb, till I go numb. Dancing till my legs go numb, till I go numb. Dancing till my legs go numb, till I go numb. Dancing till my legs go numb, till
Sorry, 
spécialité. Merci, à bienvenue.